Do 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 do. Oh hey! I didn't see you guys there. Um, welcome back to the event rental shop. Uh, let me put this away. And uh, let me grab something to fiddle with because I uh, I like to fiddle with things, you know, while I'm talking. So guys, you probably if you're here, you've probably thought about getting into the rental game. Whether it's events, construction tools, DJ equipment, photo booths. I mean, there are so many things you can rent. Over here, we rent tables, tents, chairs, kind of event-related items. Um, some other things like signs. We have like a couple sub-companies. We rent signs, a few other things, right? But how did we all get started? And, and I... I this is kind of important because I remembered something the other day. And I remember having, before we started the company, I remember thinking, you know, rentals would be good because it's a good concept. You're, you're selling an item, you're kind of renting it, but, but imagine it as selling an item, but you get that item back. So it's kind of like selling an item, but you get it back. And so you don't keep having to make inventory like you do as a seller. So I always thought renting was a fantastic concept. And, and I think the, the, the hurdle I had before um, I met uh, my first kind of major business partner for this core business um, was, you know, just giving stuff away. I had that fear. It's amazing how that fear doesn't exist anymore. It's amazing how that fear was just there at the beginning and really prevented me from starting that rental business, you know? Um, what we started with first, easy, are these bifold tables. These are six foot tables. And see up there, those tents. Simple, get this, Walmart, although there are different cheap tents. Now we have more expensive tents in behind there, our impact canopy pop-up tents. And then we have massive tents as well, 20 by tw uh, 20, 20 by 40. The sky is the limit of your size of tents you desire. You can put a few together, pole tents. But we started from the beginning from one, two, three items. Now, of course, there are thousands of items, but we started at the beginning with almost nothing. And even then, when we only had a few items or before we went out and bought the first initial items, like this table here, we were afraid to give this $55 table away because, hey, maybe we would never see it again. There was a weird, like, psychological feeling about that, you know, to just let it go. And yeah, very rarely, maybe something doesn't come back. But you'd be surprised that most of the time, it does. The worst case is it gets extra dirty. You maybe get a dent or something. Maybe your customer is late. But as your business grows and you get credit cards, and as you know how to communicate and tell them and, and, and warn them and have systems in place, over time that goes down. But nonetheless, it doesn't happen that often. And of course, if you watch this channel, there are ways to mitigate all those things. But the important lesson here is, don't be afraid to take that first step to start your rental business. You know, you're at home, maybe you have a few things in your garage. Don't be afraid to put it up on Craigslist or wherever. Don't spend money on Facebook, Instagram, and say, hey, I have this item, I'm trying to make some extra money. You know, I, I'm only working part-time now. Feel free to rent it. This is the price. It could be drills. It could be, you can make something homemade. Uh, I mean, there are so many things. There are so many things you can rent. And just do it, you know, just start it. Do something small at first, something easy, something that people can't get hurt with, maybe, ideally. Like a big power tool, you know, a big machine, a big power tool, a big truck or something. That It's different there because you, you want to protect yourself. You want to get some insurance there. 
But with a table at the beginning, you can just, just do it. Just put it on Craigslist, rent it out, maybe a little pop-up tent, and you're good to go. And from there, everything becomes clear. Everything becomes, well, you see a path. Oh, maybe I can get more of these. I can get these side items. I can get these add-ons. But just start with an item or two items. And it's that first step that's always the hardest. Make money renting. It's easy. You can do it. Everybody has stuff, you know. Okay, calm. Like you, you see. I don't want to get into it, but I was gonna say, <laughs> even, even, even. Unfortunately, there are people on the street. I mean, even they have stuff. Everybody has stuff. Some people don't have the same stuff as others, and they're just gonna use it once. They don't want to go and buy it. They're thinking, "Hey, I'm gonna rent this." Okay. I saw the another uh, the other day on Craigslist. I saw a guy renting a um, a spin the wheel. I mean, how easy is that? He was renting it for forty dollars, and people and I called him, "Hey, can I have a spin the wheel?" Guess what? It was booked for that weekend. It was a popular, busy weekend. People were having events. This was pre-COVID, so the other day, pre-COVID, of, of course. But the point is, it's such an easy item, and he had to spin the wheel, booked solid every weekend for forty bucks per day. Can you imagine? That's an extra couple hundred dollars per month for for a spin the wheel. So that's a fantastic example of something that you can rent um, and kind of expand from there. Maybe you can add like a draw box or a ballot box, you know? And so just just begin. It's super, super easy. And one day, if, if you enjoy the process, and uh, you know, you might be able to quit your job and get a little warehouse and hey, have thousands of items. Guys, take it easy. If you want to get to this point, and I mean, this is just a small point to get to it. There is a, there is a, there is a ways yet to go. Then you got to work hard. So guys, work hard. Take it easy. Let's get some business done. Peace out.